Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams rank among the best passing offenses in the country. That's to be expected with these two coaches in charge. Both of them innovative offensive gurus. Not that they totally abandon the running game, but they are on the cutting edge of the latest in the passing offense. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Idaho has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. From the 8-yard line. Gets out to about the 31. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Makes the grab and out of bounds. First down there on a five-yard pass. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. He steps out at the 47. And that, that, that. that makes it six and six. Got it to his man on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. Martin wants to pin these guys deep, and you got to think he'll be looking coffin corner on this one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Vandals and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Idaho's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. From their own 31-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. Miller gets three yards on that scramble. and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Decides to slide. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. the 35. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. First down. From the 35 yard line, it's first down. the 27-yard line. He's got the corner. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. to watch the mind games and kind of a chess match between the two coordinators. I, at that time, the offense may have caught the defensive coordinator by surprise by throwing the football on third and short. It was enough for a first down. A little counter, but he goes nowhere. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Gets it out to him again. Tackle at the 23. Smith on the tackle at the 23 yard line. That'll make it 39. They'll line it up again on third down. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. And for SMU, they put together four straight wins. The Mustangs win it 31-21. In other games, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. And for PCU, they are now out in front. PCU has the edge 10-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Idaho. They kicked this one off. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. Idaho's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Vandals with a touchdown lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Big opening. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. That's good for a game in nine yards. Man left, man left. That brings up second and nine. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled. That's the 49. 
That makes it first and ten. Three down. Mike 41. Mike 41. Brought down right around midfield. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 50. In off to the right. Makes it to the 41. That's a deep nine on the play. Man left, man left. That'll bring up third and two. T15, T15. Some open field. Gets out to around the 25. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Go down, go down. Mike 41, Mike 41. And they hit him in the backfield. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 27. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Good for a game of six yards. That brings in second and goal. Bring him down around the one yard line. That makes his third and goal. Touchdown, Bulldogs. There are some guys when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Cowboys have the perfect connection and a touchdown. Oklahoma State leads it 14-10. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Butler has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Low from the six. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 35. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's tackled at the 48. Wide out. And he's leveled at the 41-yard line. 
Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Slings it. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. Stopped immediately. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he is drilled at the 19-yard line. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. He's hit and taken down. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And he's taken down at the five. time and he hits him hard at the six he has one job on passing situations get to the quarterback and he did that job very very well on that play fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab this is from the five yard line it's third and goal Scrambling. And they got it. The Vandals, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback from that play right there. And it's good. They can take a halftime lead by taking this one all the way back, folks. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 10-7, Vandal. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here.
Brought down at the 32-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Idaho has a three-point lead. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it second and six. From their own 35-yard line, second down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Caught out of the open. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. four-yard line. First down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's finally shoved out at the 19. From the 19 yard line. First down. Big play, and it's first and goal. Idaho holds a field goal lead. They'll get him for a loss. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He came down with a touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. He makes the PAT. So an eight-play, 69-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Greer from the eight. He's out to the 30. What a collision. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's got it with room to run. And they make the stop at the 42-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. I'm going to run you over. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle around the 39-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. And he 
tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. The Bulldogs saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. They'll spread the field with five wide. From the 28 yard line, second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Green here, and the halfback's got it. Out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Line up to kick this one away. Lowe takes it from the six. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Idaho is up seven. Looks left, finding his tailback. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. Fenton makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Caught open field. And they push him out at the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Room around the corner. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Call a loss of three yards on the way. That makes it second and 14. Three down and one to go. Idaho's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Idaho is up by a touchdown. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He 
scramble. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. From the 26-yard line, second down. Tailback brought down for a loss. Of two yards on the play. That makes it 37. This is the ninth play of this drive. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. And he's tackled at the 13. First and 10, ball on the 13-yard line. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Just under three to go in regulation. Taken down at the three-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Fresno State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Well, a familiar situation for the offense as they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. Tackle made at the two-yard line. It's a nice run here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. It's very important to maintain possession of that football, and that's a nice conversion here on third down. This is the 13th play of this drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Touchdown, Idaho! When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The football's flying all over the lot in the Big 12. And for TCU, they've now dropped three in a row. The Cowboys take it by one. In other games, time to get you up to date on what's going on in San Mateo. And for Baylor, they're in danger of losing two straight. The Bobcats have the edge, three nothing. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese, 24 to 10. Bennett has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Greer from the four. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Foul. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. So they'll move back after Still that George costly Daddy. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. 
They call it a catch, but the boot signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Looks middle, got his back. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown, Fresno State. And he converts the extra point. tackled at the 40. Give all the credit in the world to the return unit for coming up with that onside kick. Now all the pressure goes to the defense to make a stand. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Tackled after a decent pickup. Barnes picks up about four yards on the play. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 20, to the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. seven points. The score now, 31-17. Idaho lines up for the kickoff. Taken at the five. And he's hammered down. Fresno State's been doing special things on offense all season long, and not today. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Boy, I didn't expect to see this at all. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Quick throw incomplete on his receiver. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throw 
Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Under a minute left. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at about the 41. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Quick pass. Tackle at about the 45. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. The spike will stop the clock. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. This one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. He sails it long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 31-17, Idaho. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.